Hey guys, welcome back to my chest. No. Hi. Look here, y'all. We got us some Philly cheese steak stuffed bell peppers and some extra stuffing on the side. Mind your business, this crap tastes good. Okay. <laughs> I hope y'all are having a wonderful, what's today? Wednesday, Wednesday. Let's get into this. Baby, baby. Now, the people that I've seen on the Pinterest, they did not put rice in this, but that is not my business, okay? They, they ain't have to put none. It's got some smoked provolone cheese on the top. Hold on, I'm gonna get you right, get you. Mm, wait a minute, that's not pretty enough. Hold on. <laughs> I'll put you some more stuffing in there. Ooh. There you go. Mm -hmm. I know. The fact that you don't have hot sauce right now is tripping me out. It's on the other side of the table. I can taste it first. Oh. Didn't even know he was eating at the top. We was. That ain't mm -mm. These mushrooms. Setting it off. Mm. First of all, nobody talks about how mushrooms really soaks up flavor. Yeah. It be still. You see the cheese pull? You see it? You see it, right? That's a good picture Take right there. Thumbnail. Amen. Mm. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you how I made it in a minute. Just relax, relax, relax. Mm. Mm. <clears throat> this is freaking good. Let me tell y'all something. Super easy. This was the most easy. My um, easy, quick <laughs> rest of peach you can possibly do. Did I film it? No. <laughs> it was semi affordable, huh? Yeah, extremely. Honestly, I don't think this whole. Ingredients cost more than ten dollars. <laughs> we had the rice. The bell peppers might have been two dollars. The steakums was like seven dollars. The mushrooms was two dollars. There you go. And the cheese. The, cheese. the onion. The onions in, yeah, the onion wasn't that expensive either. Sure. I use steakums for those who are asking. Um, <laughs> you can use fancy um, steak if you can afford it. I can't. I can, but I didn't. <laughs> mm. Mm. <laughs> I was so messy. I sauteed my peppers. Uh, and mushroom and a little butter. Season them with seasoned salt. Toss them around. Put my steakums in there. Toss it around till that's all cooked up. Made a pot of rice on the side. These peppers trying to kill me. What do you mean? It's so hot. You heated it up to 450 okay, degrees. The pepper is holding the heat. Yes. I as, don't mess with you. As it should. <laughs> <laughs> my sister is at my mama's house, so she's going to be mad when she sees this video because I didn't make her none. <laughs> my bad, sis. I love you. <laughs> um, Saute this around, put the cheese, put some couple of slices of provolone stirred it up. I put my bell peppers in the air fryer to soften them a little bit. Then put them back in there with the stuffing and just put some a slice of cheese on the top. I'm getting one. 
Go on, get it. This air cooler right here for you. Put it in that um, air fryer about 10 minutes. Long enough for the cheese to get a little crusty on it. You see the little crusty. Mm. Perfect Wednesday night meal. Mm. Quick and easy and hot. <laughs> I told y'all my dog like her food to be at least 500 degrees. Much like her dad. Anyway. Thank y'all so much for watching my previous video, The McDonald's Fail. The comments were absolutely hilarious and very true. I should have took it back. I wish I had to take y'all with me when I took it back. Because that was, it was terrible. But I had other stuff going on. I had an appointment. Huh? My grandmother had an appointment, so I couldn't really be running all over the place. We have some tropical punch slash lemonade, lemon squeeze. Tropical lemonade. There you go. Mm -hmm. What'd she yeah. say? Right. Fire. I know y'all like, why is she eating so fast? Because I'm hungry. <laughs> I ate early this morning. It's almost 7 o'clock right now. Um, cleaned the whole bunch of stuff. I'm tired, but I'm hungry. And I was like, I'm going to film this. I'm going to film nothing else. It just needed to be filmed. So listen, early this morning, shout out to my sis, uh, Fiona. I love her so much. She called me <laughs> about a show. Now, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm down for a good documentary, honey. And I'm... <laughs> Yes, I'm really going to sit down and, and give y'all the list. I got a huge list of summer watching, but this is now on the list as well. So when I repeat it again, don't worry about it. It's called Take Care of Maya. It's on Netflix. It came out this year. I don't know if it just came out or whatever, but in 20... 23. What happened? Huh? It's not nothing to do with what you're talking about. Okay. So, this story is about a little girl who was born pretty normal. Everything was normal. She was having a normal life. And then all of a sudden, she came down with this weird illness. Severe pain. Her feet were turning in like this. And like she couldn't walk. She was in so much pain. And they from Florida. Pinellas County, for those who know Florida County. I took her to all these doctors, all these specialists, went all over the state trying to find somebody to help them with their daughter, which most parents would do if they were in the same circumstances because nobody could figure out what the heck was wrong with this girl. So she finally, they finally found a doctor who knew what was going on. And it was like... CP, CPRS, I think was the initials for it. Um, this is slightly spoilers. I ain't gonna give them all, but just trying to give you the premise of the show. So this is a documentary. So it's a movie. It's um about an hour and 45 minutes long, but when I tell you it's a roller coaster of emotions, because as a parent, I know I would go to the ends of the earth to make my kids better. You spoke about advocacy. Mm hmm. We have talked about advocacy. And her mother. Your TED talk. Yeah, definitely. 
I'm definitely my third dog. Um, the mother was a nurse, a registered nurse. This lady documented every single detail. Every doctor she went to, every consultation, everything. She documented everything. So, some people was thinking this was Munchausen. If y'all ever seen that show, Gypsy. Was it Gypsy? No. That was her name. I forgot the name of the show. But anyway, I talked about it on a, on one of my mug fans where the mother made this girl think she was sick all this time and she wasn't. This was not that. They have video documenting like her body and her her not being able to walk and having to have physical therapy and do all this stuff. They documented everything. The doctors recorded it and the mother and father recorded it. So it wasn't like they didn't have proof that this girl went from running around in the streets and having normal stuff to having severe pain to the point where her joints and stuff was folding up. So once they got the diagnosis, the doctor was like, the treatment is ketamine, which is very, very strong. The only place you could get it, get the first treatment to get it in her system, which was basically like putting her in a drug-induced coma, was in Mexico. Now, I know y'all probably like, oh my God, I'm not going to a foreign country. <laughs> But when you see your child, at this time, I think she might have been 10. And I might be pushing it. She was little. When you see your child who was normal and running around and whatnot to her feet, her literal toes was like this. Like her ankles was coming in like this. They was not, she couldn't do this. It was like this. And you could see it on the video. It's not like she, what child do you know can hold their legs like this for a long time <laughs> in a wheelchair? And when you try to get her to stand up, you got to hold her up because her legs don't work. Her arms don't work. Her stuff, she couldn't raise her arm up. She was like, this hurts. Like, this really hurts. So they took her to Mexico. They did this ketamine treatment. They got her through the process. It was really scary. You got to watch the documentary because there was some reactions because ketamine is very strong. So she had some hallucinations and the monsters was coming after her and the whole night. My girlfriend was literally crying when she was telling me to please watch the show. <laughs> please go watch the show. <laughs> she was on her way to work in tears. You watch that at five something in the morning, four something in the morning. So, after her treatment, she came back. They were able to give her ketamine and it was helping her. She was starting to get a little bit more, not active, but more herself again. Like she wasn't in so much pain. She still had to use a wheelchair and stuff but she was doing physical therapy. She was able to get a little bit more range of motion. Okay, fast forward like a year or two. And she had this severe, severe pain in her stomach. And she's like crying and crying. And her mother's like, okay, we gotta take her to the hospital. And this is where it goes there. They take her to John Hopkins all children hospital down to the over there in Florida somewhere. You said, uh, hmm? I said over there in Florida, like we not in Florida. Yeah, over there, because it ain't in this county. <laughs> and the people at the hospital, once they hear that she's on ketamine and all of this, 
automatically red flags, red flags. Oh my God, they killing this baby. Da, 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 da. The girl, the mama has documented this stuff. She knows all the doctors. She's telling you the doctors that's taking care of this girl, why she's on this treatment, what she has, because they didn't even know what she had. And when they told them it was CP, A, B, D, C, D, and you know, all them letters, they was like, what's that? I don't know what that is. Can you get cerebral palsy? Usually you would have it at birth, birth, no, okay. birth times. But, yeah. So, they automatically go into, oh, these people are, the mother is giving this, this diagnosis and is, she don't know what she's talking about. Oh, she she's basically making this girl sick and we don't believe that she needs ketamine. Let me know, let me know how you distort someone's foot like that. How, how do you distort a child in there crying and screaming because her stomach is ripping from the inside out and her body is jacked up? So, let me know. This was medical kidnapping because <laughs> they removed the parents after a certain amount of days. They said, Oh, CPS is going to get involved. Y'all can't see her no more. Blah, blah, blah. They shut it down. They would not let the parents see their own child. Okay. Needless to say, these was not black mamas. <laughs> I would have shut that whole freaking hospital down. You hear me? Let them tell me I can't see my child that I gave birth to. Okay? Listen. I understand why my friend got emotional. I'm not gonna ruin the rest of the show for you. It is an emotional roller coaster. But more for me, it was more anger than tears. I was upset at this one particular part that I'm sure she was upset about. <sighs> but baby, the anger was higher than the tears today. Today, I chose violence because I would have lit everybody. I know you. Dad, I'm trying to finish the yeah. video. Don't thunder right now, please, because I'm scared of lightning and stuff. Dad said, this is the end of the video. <laughs> he said, that's enough of that. Okay. No, but for real, go watch Take Care of Maya if you are a crier i don't know take some tissue because it's very emotional it's a Say that sentence again. let me know let me know i can't stand it <laughs> oh. it's lightning Ooh. okay we look opposite way yeah it's lightning y'all that was up here thank y'all so much for joining me it's lightning go watch take care of maya it's on netflix um let me know in the comments if you already seen it let me know if you watch it yeah it's on my documentaries list now it's very it's very very good shout out to god y'all do y'all get the thunder it's God said, look here, I done told you to end the video. Anyways, thank you to all my new subscribers. Thank you for my ride or dies. As I always, thank you to my members. They're always in the description box. I got to go put them in the last video because I was so mad. I ain't put barely anything <laughs> in the description box because I was mad. But that's all right. I'm going to put them in the description don't forget to check out our um, podcast channel join uh, the membership you guys oh yeah join the membership she gonna do a, she gonna do a membership video join the membership to support the channel financially i appreciate each one of each and every one of you don't have to be a content creator to support the channel um what else any more announcements we need to make no video will be coming out um, cake video. The cake video that was supposed to come out before this one. Don't worry about it. It's coming on. 
after this one because she finna go finish that right how you gonna put this one before me because i already said it's wednesday oh. i already said it out my wednesday next day yeah this is wednesday next today okay Ew. anyway <laughs> <laughs> this don't worry about this one it's gonna get eaten this was so fine. I'm sorry I didn't record it. I really, I'm really sorry. <laughs> they can listen to instructions. Yeah. But okay. I will put the ingredients and stuff in the description box. Listen, I love y'all and ain't nothing you can do about it. It's been a storm real bad, so I gotta go.